be there. Uh, this session is about uh, to share our experience with uh, internet personalized content uh, that uh, we have built for uh, some of our clients. And uh, I'm going to show you three uh, different internet websites that we can with, uh, in fact, different constraints and uh, different goals for, uh, uh, for the client. Uh, in these three websites, we will see uh, a news portal, uh, which is with uh, worldwide content. And the goal was to uh, uh, let the user have a good experience, depending on uh, his preferences. So from where it comes from, uh, uh, what he likes to see uh, as a content. Okay. Uh, the second one is a delegated business application. Uh, here, the goal was to really have uh, some uh, specific uh, forms uh, for, uh, for the company. Uh, so I'll explain uh, after uh, what, what we try, what we achieve. Okay. And the last one is a company career builder, where the user, uh, when he's logged in, you will see uh, in this company what can be uh, his career, uh, so which uh, function he can return, and so what he can do in the company uh, uh, during his professional life. Uh, quickly, uh, how it's going to work. So I'm going to put some slides of uh, every uh, website after um, a little de demonstration of, of the website itself and some question, questions after if you, if you have, okay? So the news portal is uh, what we for General Electric. Uh, the key features is, so it's, a, it's an internet, it's um, hosted on, on the cloud, on Amazon. It's SSO protected, so every user has a, his own account, uh, so to access the portal. Every content is managed from the front end by uh, managers, so we have different ports. Uh, and so the key feature for the user is uh, we have location based uh, articles, meaning uh, if the user uh, is from Europe, he will only have articles based on, uh, on this location, okay, or articles from which are set as global as you can see here. So this one is global so for uh, every country, but the other, uh, others are uh, only for you. Okay, so as soon as it's login, it, it has uh, really uh, custom content and personalized. Uh, different categories for the, for the content and different uh, filters available uh, when the content is created. Uh, it has a specific uh, classification. So uh, here this one is in the technology category, but it talks about some uh, specific stuff. And so the user can uh, uh, select again uh, some specific filters to uh, really have uh, specific articles uh, he wants to read. You can see on the on the on this page that so every article has an information. So they are uh, uh, sorted by date. So always most recent date. Uh, we have the category and we have the, the information on uh, the location. Uh, on the front, uh, on the top, sorry, of, uh, of the website. So you can see now we're in uh, Asia. Uh, the slide before we were in Europe. So. Uh, you, the, the user, even if in his preferences, uh, he said, okay, I'm a Euro European guy, um, the user can, of course, he's not stuck in this uh, region, and so he can change, okay, uh, maybe uh, because of uh, his family or something else, oh, okay, I'm from Europe, but during my navigation, I want, I want all Asia content, so it's possible. So we have a list of regions, we'll see on the, the demonstration. 
Um, and so we can change for this session uh, the, the uh, location of the content you want to read. Okay. Uh, we have so, such a giant. Okay, and we have on the top right uh, the the user can access to his preferences. So we'll see this on the, the demonstration to uh, to change what he wants. We now see the the website. Um, I'm logged in, so I've created uh, I've created a uh, Jab 16 user, okay, from Europe. And as you can see, so Europe is in my preferences, so it's automatically uh, uh, set when I'm logged in. But if I want, I can change location. So it's not in this on this website. Website, so it's not uh, geographical locations. Okay, it's more uh, locations from the company. Okay, based on uh, on, uh, uh, on, the, on the stuff and not on, uh, on countries. Okay, so we have some locations like China, but we have also. Uh, ONM, so NEA, so which uh, are related to really some specific regions for, for the company. And the user here, so this is uh, my custom profile, this mini, so all the content that we we'll see uh, will be automatically filtered by, by this uh, configuration. Okay, so mini rock, and I'm interested in this stuff, this stuff in, uh, in the technologies, okay? And in uh, outage stages, which is another uh, uh, filter, I can say, okay, I want to see uh, everything about fulfillment or planning, which are uh, so really uh, uh, words, so uh, technical words from, uh, from, uh, from the company. And so from here, I can, I can say, okay, I want, so maybe now I'm, uh, I'm interested more in, in this one, this one, this one. And the content will be ready and I may, I may see more stuff uh, from, uh, from, uh, from the website. Um, so just to show you, if I, I'm in Europe and if I change to Latin America, so you can see that some content are seen the same because they are considered as global. Okay, so they are always here. But uh, if I uh, moving to um, other categories, so here I retrieve on the right uh, all the filters I've set. Okay, so I know that all the content I see here is filtered by by this, but I can still uh, add my own. So change for this session. And have a refreshed uh, page so you can see that I see more articles because I've, uh, I've added more, uh, I, I'm, uh, I've configured to see more content. Okay. <coughs> uh, we have a search engine too. and 
the, what they want to see uh, as a content. And uh, so as soon as they come back to, uh, to the website, uh, they will have a, a personalized content. And as a user on the website, I can add my own content if I want. So there is a form. And so from here, in fact, you can see that in a, one of the form tab, you have the classification of the article. So say, OK, this, uh, the content I'm going to uh, submit is going to be for Europe, for India, or for multi, uh, multi locations, so multi regions, uh, for these technologies, and for uh, this category. And so when you save the article, it's moderated, so there are uh, uh, managers on the website that are notified when you submit an article and uh, they uh, validate it. Uh, it. And as soon as it's published, it's available for all the users uh, from you. Okay, and depending, of course, on their preferences, they will see the, the content on it. Another, um, another feature of the website is uh, as many users from many countries can submit articles, uh, we wanted to provide us an easy way to manage uh, images on the, on the content. Uh, one uh, reason is to, uh, so some users are not uh, technical, so uh, they have to have a, uh, an easy way to add uh, media for, uh, for, uh, for a content and the second reason is we wanted to avoid users to upload always the same image. Maybe they, have, they want to share the same ID so they have maybe on their computer uh, some, uh, some pictures uh, grabbed from G and so everyone has the same pictures. The idea here is okay, uh, on the website there is a gallery, there is a media gallery. So you can pick an image from um, from the, the, the website gallery, meaning so you don't have to upload the image if it's already in it. And it's available for everyone. And you can, of course, um, uh, so you have a list of media and you can, of course, search for an image that uh, can uh, illustrate your content. And so you can see that there are, um, um, uh, it's, uh, uh, there are some folders so you can classify the images and you can see that uh, okay, this image is uh, really illustrate my content. I add it to the content and I no need to uh, grab it from my computer. And the good point is it's automatically uh, cropped, meaning the format of the image is uh, correct and it's going to fit perfectly on the content. So you have an image from your uh, photo device, which is, I don't know, six megabytes, and you don't know how to crop it, and you don't know, you don't know if it's uh, too huge or too small uh, for the website. You don't have to take care of this. You you pick up an image from the gallery. The the dimension is already uh, is already good. And as soon as you're going to save your content, the image will be displayed. So this is also uh, an easy way to uh, uh, facilitate uh, uh, su the submission of content on the website. And now also, the last point, the last point is a site feedback on the, on the website where the user can say, okay, uh, great website, or uh, well, maybe this feature should be added or something like this, like uh, on uh, many websites. Uh, well, for this one, uh, this is all I had to show. Um, any questions for this one? <coughs> no? Right. Okay. And it was prepared. It was just forgotten. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Uh, 
uh, that we now uh, provide for our, our website. I'm not logged in anymore as a standard user. I'm logged in as an admin on the website. I have preferences, but as you can see, you have a, a toolbar on the top of the website, which is available for managers, meaning we, the managers don't have to log in on the backend of Joomla anymore. Because depending on their permissions, they see uh, some menus and drop down menus to manage all the content on the website. As soon as, a, a, as an example, an article is submitted by a user, they are notified by email, they are, going, they are logging in on the website and for this. Been knocked out. that need uh, to be checked, meaning they are still private for now and maybe they need some moderation and uh, to, I need to publish them. You can see that uh, this one, the test of your phone, this is ready to review, so meaning, okay, I can edit it and publish this one. This one. And so I'm back to uh, the, uh, the form of the content and for me I can check, okay, this for the sniper is, uh, is okay, no, nothing to, to check on this one. Uh, the image is here, uh, classifications, okay, and as soon as I've checked everything, okay, I move this one to public, I save, all validations are checked if the image is correct. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, sorry, uh, where is mine, yes, sorry. We've done some cleaning before the session, but so move this one to public. I've picked up the wrong one. As you can see, I cannot save for now because the image I've provided is not uh, ready to be uh, on the website. So I'm going to select which portion of the of the image I want to. Uh, I want to display on the website. And so now it's okay. So my, uh, my article is uh, published, so it has disappeared from the list because I still uh, filter by, uh, by access, okay? And, uh, and so the managers, so they, they follow the list and they, they uh, publish the website, uh, the content, sorry, out. And all the managers have the, this interface, and so depending on their permissions, they can manage everything. So the comments, the feedbacks, so the little form that we've seen, the newsletters, because the, from the website, they can send newsletters from, and so they pick which articles uh, they want to send by newsletter to which user, and directly from the website, they can send newsletters based on 
uh, user uh, preferences. Okay, still no question? Yes? I'm interested in uh, the documents area. This is aimed for internet, right? Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a specific setup for documents so that they can be accessed through the browser, <coughs> um, outside the browser from a local area, network or similar, or a private network? Uh, documents uh, are working, they, we have the same management for documents as for images, meaning uh, when you create a content, uh, so you have for an article you can link document, you can link document to, uh, to the article, so from the media library, okay. The, the media library is uh, a folder in the system. No. I mean, mm. I upload the document there by any means. It's like more than this. In fact, at the end, physically, yes, you have the document. Yeah, no, yeah. I, mean, okay. I mean, if in practical, I can, in practice, I can upload a file yep. to the folder and it automatically takes it up. Or you have yeah, to, I have to yeah. use the, the browser to put the document there. You have two options. So. You uh, you've checked from in the library. The docu document is not here. Or you you have a document on your uh, on your computer. Okay. <coughs> you. I'm going to get one document. Oh, oui, mais le. Oui. Oui. Euh. This icon, but you have different types. Different you types. can define your media types. 
Uh, Instead of images, say, I want uh, yes. photographies. Yes, pictures. yes, it will be an image, but you can uh, define another type uh, if you want. And so you can filter, by. so I just want the image. Sorry. And so at the manager, I can, you can see, oh, okay, there are four images, uh, maybe I can just use one, or after I can manage. And always, so uh, from the manager, you can add your own. So you, you can always add the content you want from here, if needed. OK? you the sorry well, I'm always disconnected from this
Burn. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Um, we have a configuration uh, uh, menu where all the stuff that happens uh, on the application can be configured. So uh, places of the plants, um, the um, organs, all the operation codes. Um, so once everything is configured on the application, they can. So the user can have access uh, to what you could say, so a, a list, uh, a to list. And in fact, here is a, some, some list of what uh, has to be done by, by the user, okay? So first, before, uh, so to do what I have to do, I have to first do this, so action number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. When it's done, of course, we have the reverse action, so now I have to, if I change something, when I had to, uh, uh, to do what I had to do, I, now I have to uh, reset this to the original position, so for number one, number two, and so I get back to the original uh, status. Okay, so this is automatically, uh, uh, so configured, and so uh, after automatically managed in the to-do list. And when it's done in my in my folder, here. I've, gen I've click on the generate PDF button. All the data I grab from the database. I have my PDF. I print it. And I can go uh, in place and say, okay, uh, this, I do it, I check, this is checked, this is checked, I've finished, I move on the, on the other way, and at the end, I sign the paper and uh, put it in the, in the case, and I'm done. And what's, uh, so what's interesting is, once um, uh, some generic to-do lists are done, we, you don't have to do them uh, again. They are stored in the database, available for uh, all the users. Another user can come and say, okay, uh, I have to do the same action, but maybe next week, I just pick up the, the list, and uh, I know it is uh, what I need to do, and uh, I pick up again a PDF for me. Uh, as I would in as another user, so uh, I will have my name in it, and, uh, and so the, the database can be uh, uh, filled with many uh, actions like this. And so the goal here, of course, is to uh, facil um, yeah, facilitate the uh, life of engineers uh, in situation. And So on this uh, website, the same as uh, the other, I'm logged in here as a, uh, not as a manager, but as a manager, I will have the, uh, the admin menu on the top to uh, manage specific uh, content on the website, as always. The last one, still for a general click, is uh, let the user uh, have some information about uh, which career he can have uh, in general click. Key 
features we have, so it's SSO protected, um, so meaning uh, you have to, so have to log in uh, with your, they have some SSO uh, stuff, and so you have to log in to uh, access uh, the information on the website. Uh, it's, uh, this website is really uh, as a uh, visual uh, stuff managed by uh, D3, uh, which is a JavaScript uh, library. And the, the, the employees can save their own career uh, uh, path, meaning so uh, they can save some scenarios from, uh, from the career to see, okay, uh, maybe uh, I can do this or I can do this and save them uh, in their own uh, space. You are so, the, so this is uh, what we, what's called the, the connector where you have the list of uh, um, uh, domains where you, you, you have some uh, functions. Uh, so it's not readable, but uh, I'll show you on the, it will be more visible on the, on the website. So in fact, you have different areas uh, with, uh, in uh, each area different uh, functions, okay? And so the user can click on the functions and have some details on it and see, okay, I'm, I'm this kind of profile and I can go there, there, or there. And you have the region behind. So you have different uh, point size uh, depending on the number of um, uh, people actually in this position. Um, and you will see that you will also have some different path uh, width depending on uh, the usually uh, from this function, usually uh, people go to this one, this one, but not so often as this one or this one. Like this one, that this example, I've clicked on this point. I can see that I have five different paths from this function to another one, but these two uh, are the two ones usually, um, uh, the, so they are usually the next function after mine, uh, and the three others, uh, less people are, are going to, uh, to this other function. And on the left, you can see the details of this position, which is sales directly. So I need to list of organization if I, I can filter by uh, organization and as soon as I filter so I have a zoom on the, on this uh, area and the position that exists for now in this area okay and you can see the different size of points <coughs> if I click on one on the left so everything is automatically refreshed 
you have the position, so it's a heat transfer engineer. I have the flows out, so where, uh, to which position I can go. I can also see that uh, these two positions can have the, have the similar, uh, uh, no, the similar titles. And for this position, here is maybe what I will need to, uh, to have in terms of uh, capabilities. And uh, as you can see, so this is where I can go. I can go to this position, which is manufacturing engineer, so in another domain. And uh, so other, uh, other path I can uh, pretend, I could pretend to, okay? So these are the, where I can go, and if I need the, the reverse information is, people from, uh, which are actually in this position, they usually came from these functions. Okay, so I can have the, the, the reverse uh, path if needed. And so I can, if I move back to uh, flow out, I can navigate through functions, okay, or after this one I could, so use this one and you can, <coughs> yeah, you, you can see everything that, uh, you can see your career from here. This is the problem I had uh, this morning again. Yeah. Sorry, but um, I've been logged out again from... have to log in. From here, um, I can create my own uh, career path, the meaning I, I can say, okay, I'm actually an aer aerodynamic engineer and I'm going to create my career to finally finish to this function. And so it's automatically saved in my profile. I can create any, uh, as many as I want and go back to them uh, when I need. And so, uh, prepare my, uh, my career in, uh, in the company. And as always, as a manager, you can configure all the areas, okay, add some functions to uh, any domains, change colors and everything, uh, but I think I, I won't have time for this. Uh, if you have questions, Yes. How do you fetch the data from the people career, from the human resource database? Yeah, so they have been, uh, so G, they have grabbed all uh, the information, so all the history of uh, their, uh, the people from, from G, yeah. so their own career, and everything has been uh, imported in the database. Okay, but do you fetch it in real time, or? Uh no, it has been, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, for now it has been a one shot, so it's not in real time. So, okay, they, they can update the numbers. In fact, uh, so as a manager, you can update the numbers for um, every, uh, every position. Okay. Yes? Yeah, regarding the information, actually, uh, how is the data important? You have a good, massive CSV report? Yeah. Yeah, in fact, for, uh, we have a content importer, okay, so for any content on the website, you, can, you have a CSV file, with uh, so you fill your data, okay, the title. Uh, that, that's, and that comes with setblock. It's an extension of setblock, yes, yes. And also you okay. can map. Sorry? You can map. Yeah, you can map, of course. So you have the basic uh, fields, so from Joomla, so title, category, uh, the created by, created and everything, the published. Uh, the state, sorry, and you have after you, you can put a column with a specific field from several. So, uh, in this case, a uh, number of people in this function okay, it's 80. If it's 80, it would be so 75 plus, so it would be a, a big sub. Yeah. Yes, 
we have tried to find we tried to find Spanish translation. Do you have a Spanish translation? Spanish translation for translation. Uh, for yes, Spanish, we have, yes. We have Spanish, couldn't find it. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, I have a question. Okay, okay. So, thank you everyone for attending. <laughs>